Cooking in the Kitchen with Drew, Dr. Gold's Optimal Living Institute, continuing our theme of grilling in the summer. So today we just thick sliced, about a quarter of an inch thick, thick sliced some zucchini, we put it on the grill, coated it, a little bit of oil to get it to release from that grill. And then we've got dynamite burgers today. These have red onions, green onions, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of dill, a little bit of garlic embedded in those burgers. So cook all those flavors, will mix really, really delicious. Even though I'm not a fun guy, my wife loves mushrooms. So I made mine and then I mixed in some shiitake mushrooms with hers and put hers on the grill. So I'm making sure that I know which ones have the mushrooms so I don't eat them. For me, they're icky. But anyways, we're gonna get these cooked. Cook them to your desired temperature. So if you like them a little more well done, it's gonna mean they're a little firmer and to the touch and a little bit rarer. It's gonna be a little softer to the touch. You can also get a thermometer to poke right in the middle there to check. I generally cook my stuff on high heat. It cooks a little bit quicker and it still doesn't really burn that much if you keep an eye on it. That's why I have bottles of water off to the side of my grill. We'll be back in just a few minutes when they're done cooking and we'll show you what they look like. And 100% grass fed, oh, grass yes, finished? Oh yes, thank you. 100% grass fed, grass finished, organic ground beef. Oh, and then veggie burgers for those? Veggie burgers, if you'd like, get veggie burgers. Make sure that they are non-GMO. Yeah. It's up in the air right now with things like Beyond Burger and all those plant-based ah. because you don't really know Processed. what is going into them in terms, yeah, you know, they're plant-based but you don't know what plants salt. are going into them and what they're using in terms of ingredients. So check, um, Morningstar Farms does non-GMO stuff. Boca, I believe, is non-GMO. Make sure you get that non-GMO label. And there's also a bunch of organic non-GMO ones out there available. So Maybe if you tempeh? don't eat meat, tempeh is really good on the grill. With tempeh, make sure you coat it lightly in oil on both sides or else it'll stick to your grill. So I always oil the grill a little bit before I start and then any kind of vegetable or anything that doesn't produce oil itself when it cooks, I also put a little bit of oil in there or on the surface to get it to release from that grill. Yeah. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes to see what they look like when they're done. Hey, it's Cooking in the Kitchen with Drew, back with our dynamite burgers, our grilled zucchini, and a little bit of fresh salad, a nice, light, high protein, low carb, keto type of meal. We're gonna try the burgers here. These, as you can see, I like mine a little bit medium and the medium to medium well, it's just pink. It's not really red inside. Let's see how they taste. Mm. Flavors merge beautifully in there. You can taste the cilantro and all the veggies. Really nice, much better than just a plain hamburger. So Drew with Dr. Gold, oh, by the way, if you're looking for a, a vegetarian alternative, as I mentioned before, think about tempeh, just make sure that it's non-GMO. What is tempeh? Tempeh is a fermented soybean where they take it, process it into a pack. I wish we had one to show you, but it's usually in the dairy section, like Publix or Walmart or something like that. Just make sure that it's a non-GMO version, but it is soy-based, they're whole soybeans. So you, I can't deal with, my stomach can't handle processed soy like tofu, but I can eat regular soybeans, I can eat edamame, I can eat tempeh just the processed soy that I have problems with digesting. So it's okay, but keep in mind, again, non-GMO, and it's their fermented soybeans and they're just kind of chopped and, and formed into a patty. And you can use those just like you would meat. You can grill them, you can put them, if you use a skillet, you can cook them in a skillet, you can bake them, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. A little bit of a different texture, it gets crunchy and it is a little bit chewy because of the uh, beans. But it's actually really, really nice. So it's only about three dollars. Yeah, and they're not protein. expensive. They're like three four dollars for a big rectangle like that. Yeah. And they contain about twenty grams of protein for each one, fifteen to twenty grams of protein in each of those rectangles. So again, this is Drew with Dr. Gold's Optimal Living Institute. Enjoy your summer grilling. Toodles.